so that it looks creative and in this video we will be seeing how to make this slider for our website so without wasting any time let's begin so first of all i have downloaded this image from undraw and then i have opened this image in figma after opening the image in figma i have grouped all the components of the image that i want to animate or give all the components that i want to animate a unique name so that i can extract those components from my uh, from my uh, HTML file and uh, in my CSS and then I can give animations to it. So without wasting time, just open our Visual Studio code and see how we have done that. So this is my Visual Studio code where I have this uh, SVG image open. It has some codes and you can see it has uh, an ID which has some name. If you don't know how to give uh, groups some ID, then please check out my last video or any of my uh, SVG animation video because in that I have told you everything in details. And this is just a short video to uh, summarize whatever we have learned so I will be focusing on animation for this video and not on Figma or any other things so I have just manipulated the image the way I want uh, like I gave heart uh, these IDs so that I can select them individually and give cool animations in it so you can do whatever you want for your website it's always up to you and if you want the same image then i will be keeping the link of this image uh, that we have used in description and you can download the image from there so i have basically used undraw website to get that image so after all the setup i have just copied this uh, svg code and i have pasted this code in my html file this is a normal html file it's it is not having anything extra other than this div because i have pasted my svg code in this div so it has a class of image and then i have just remove all the margins and paddings from my html file which i get from the browsers and then i have changed the background color of uh, my html file and then i have just given some positions uh, so that i can place my image in the between of my web page after doing that let us open this whole thing in web browser using live server so after opening the picture in my or the web page in my live so basically browser now we can see that our image is in middle and we have everything placed very nicely so let's begin our coding for animation and let us see how we can code our animation and give those animation to our uh, website or to our components of the images so i have just opened my css and i have just uh, just uh, uh, selected cartoon because i want to animate my cartoon first so i don't know what happened yeah it got stuck i don't know why so after uh, selecting cartoon that i want to animate i will be giving or creating animation for my cartoon using keyframes so keyframes and we will be giving this a name of bump after giving this a name of bump uh, you need to go from zero percent to 50 percent to 100 percent and after doing that just say transform and it should be uh, we will be using property rotate z okay uh, rotate z and it should be an angle of suppose 5 degree 
and yeah just copy this code from here to other segments like this and give this minus 5 degree and then just copy this and give this again 5 degree so after doing the, after creating my animation i will be giving my cartoon the animation i just created so i will be writing the name of the animation i created after that i will writing the speed of the animation then the number of times it should animate and it should be a linear animation and we are done okay after doing this we don't want our animation to be from top or to be from uh, left side or to be from right side so i will be using transform origin to specify that what is the origin of my animation and it is bottom so i am selecting bottom and then i don't want my animated thing to just uh, leave its place i want it to be in a particular boundary so to decide the boundary of my animation i will be using trans transform box and it should be fill box fill box we are good to go so now let's see okay we have our cartoon animating it is moving cool now let's give animation to this yellow bars so how we can animate these yellow bars so for that i will be selecting this bars using uh small using its id basically so its id are small bar and large bar so we will be selecting it together only so it will be small bar okay it will yeah it will be small bar and then hashtag large bar so after selecting my uh bars that i want to animate i will be again making my animation with the help of keyframe so it's like at the rate keyframes and here i will be giving the name for my animation which will be like bar and after giving this 0% 50% and uh, 100% so uh yeah now here it will be transform okay transform and it should be uh, i will be using scale so it should be 0 comma 0 because i don't want my uh, line bars to be present before having any animation so and then i want its uh, size to increase gradually and then again decrease gradually so this is my animation that i created for my bar and using animation i will be given this animation to my bars so i will be saying bar two seconds for infinite time in a linear motion and again i will be specifying the origin of my animation which is transform origin left because i want my left side to be stuck and i want to define the boundary of my animation so it will be transform uh, i can say specifically like a box and it should be fill box so wow we are done with our line animations which is a bar animation after animating this let us give this black color a slide animation so to give this a slide animation we will be selecting it so i have named it box so i will be selecting this box using this id so i have selected this box and here now we will be making animation for our box so it will be like keyframes and we will be giving animation the name of box then we will be having it from 0% to just 100% yeah and then it should be using transform property okay and it should be scale in x axis and i want it from zero but i want to make it from zero to 
hundred per uh, one per means uh, till the whole size. And after doing this, I will be giving after making animation. Basically, I will be giving my animation to my component. So I will be writing box. Then again, two seconds. Then it should be linear. I don't want this to repeat or to repeat infinite times, and that's why I will be giving this a linear motion. Uh, means i will be not specifying infinite or any number of times because i want this animation to happen only one time so let's see wow it is sliding cool and after doing this uh we yeah we are done with our box we are done with our cartoon we are done with our line bars now let's give animation to this little tiny hearts and this hand small hand so how we can do that so specifically i will be giving or selecting basically my heart first so it's like h1 and then it's like uh, okay it's h1 then it's uh okay first let me uh create animation for my heart and so here also we will be using at the rate keyframes and we will be giving this a name of heart and here also from zero percent from zero percent to fifty percent and it should last till hundred percent and after doing this we can give it like transform uh, i will be using here um, scale property and we will be using uh, this scale and this will be like 0 comma 0 and we will be also using opacity here so our opacity should be 0 in starting and then we will be just copying it pasting it where everywhere and then it should be one on one and it should be one in opacity so that it is visible and again it should be invisible so it is invisible then it is visible and this then it is again invisible so i have created my animation for heart and now i will be giving this animation to my heart so i will be using animation and here i will be giving this a name like uh, heart that we give to our keyframe it should be for two seconds it should be for infinite time and it should be a linear motion so let's see Hope for the good okay so right now you can see that it is not stuck anywhere and it don't have some boundaries so to fix it i will be using transform origin this time i will be giving it center and i will be also using transform box so it will be like transform box and it is fill box fill box yeah so it's like it's coming from inside of the window on our web page the same way we will be giving this to other hearts but uh, here we have slight changes like in heart 3 we will be having no delay time but in heart 2 and in heart 1 we will be having some delay time so it will be having 0 0.5 second and okay and this would be having 0 0.25 seconds so now let us see well, it is coming one by one and it is going one by one so now let's animate our hand how we can animate our hand it is the most simple one i will be selecting my hand using its id and then i will be creating my animation so it will be like keyframes and we will be giving this a name of move after giving this a name of move we will be saying from zero percent to fifty percent 200 percent and after doing that we will be giving here a transform of uh, okay it should be transform of uh, uh, okay i want my hand to be in swinging motion so for that i will be using skew in y direction and it should be like from five degrees to 
I should copy this only and I will be pasting it for other two components. Yeah, so it is minus 5 degree. We have created animation for my hand. Now it's time to give animation to my hand. And for that I will be using animation. Name of the animation is move. It should be also for 2 seconds. Then it should be for infinite times. It should be linear. And here also we will be giving property. But this time my transform origin will be right side. And my transform uh, box should be box fill. So that it is still okay fill box and so that it is still and it is attached to my right arm that's why i have used transform origin should be right and yeah we are good to go now let's see what we will be getting as a result so this is my whole animation and i hope you like this and if you really like my animation videos and if you want more animation videos like this for svg images please give me a comment i will surely make more animation videos like this and uh, so that is for today guys i hope you all enjoy this animating series because from tomorrow i will be coming up with some page animation not svg animation so or text animation whatever i would like to make so any one of them so thank you guys and please stay tuned with coda creatives by subscribing this channel